Thank you for checking out the video, everyone. I have some exciting news for everyone again, just to tag on to the last one is it now there is a way to convert your musket shot or scurvy dog into a six shot or 18 shot mortar uh, rack, of course. So the really nice thing about it, and, and we've done testing on it, it's very compact. Look how small this is. And, and you would think, you know, maybe it's not uh, stable, but it's amazing. We've done tests on asphalt. We've done tests on dry lakes. We've done tests on dirt. Uh, and it, it performs exceptionally well. Uh, I shot it myself a few times and no bouncing, no nothing. <laughs> Very solid. Just a lot of fun. I was really excited. So you can check out that video. Um, I also had Big T Pyro do a test for me and he actually did his on asphalt. His did well as well, except for we did discover that the bottoms of the musket shots, the way they were already designed in scurvy dogs, may need to be secured. So... Um, I didn't have any issues at all with, with mine and, uh, a friend of mine also did, did some testing as well with some cans that you may be familiar with, but he used master shells, which, which are quite powerful, uh, and no problem at all with his musket shot. So <laughs> they stayed stable. Nothing happened at all to the bottom of it, but with big T on asphalt, uh, he ran into an issue where this part of the musket shot and the bottom slightly separated after a few shots, okay? And I don't want that to happen to anyone. I didn't have that happen, and like I said, uh, the other person didn't have that happen either. But so what I've done now is that we're implementing screws. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put two in every single one, which will, you know, I, I haven't had the issue, but it should avoid any further uh, separation. We use really strong glue, but obviously uh, screws will make things so much more solid than what was already there with the, with the brad nails. So if you are interested, first of all, you can order these now, pretty amazing, and they come three different ways. You can get them as a musket shot or a scurvy dog by itself. You can get it with a Roman uh, topper here, right? You guys know that, with a grid in the bottom. Or you can get it with the brand new uh, mortar topper on here like you see here. And I think you can get it all three <laughs> three versions too, right? So all in one. So it's designed to hold cakes. It can hold mortars and it can also hold Roman candles and rockets and all that good stuff. So pretty awesome, you guys. And remember, you can also order the rocket launch pad as well. The rocket launch pad fits on top. Boop. Not on top of this, but it fits right on top of the original musket shot or scurvy dog. So you have a lot of things. So several of you have purchased the item already, and maybe you bought it just as a scurvy dog or just a single musket shot without any toppers. You now have the ability to add one of these to it if you want to convert it into a six shot or an 18 shot or whatever you want to do. Uh, mortar rack. Now, the deal with that is that uh, right now online I'm offering them uh, and I will give you a code so you can go on and get free shipping because I know it's it's not super cheap to ship. It's actually about eight dollars or so to ship and I don't even really want to, to you know spend way too much money for the topper. So right now at $14.99 will be for one topper. And I believe $24.99 you get two and $34.99 you get three. And that'll include the shipping. All right. You just have to use the promo code free, F-R-E-E. -E. Um, at this time, it's not extended to the rocket launcher or anything like that. Uh, I, I'm only going to honor those of you that are getting uh, at least the topper. If you want to buy more stuff, you want to buy topper and a rocket launch pad, we could do that. That's fine. I can handle the, the free shipping on there <laughs> as a thank you to you. But I just wanted to make it affordable. So for $34.99, you can get the three pieces to convert your scurvy dog. And that includes shipping. So just a little over $11 for each one. And then it's going to go eventually to $10 for each one uh, plus shipping. Okay. So there we go. If you guys are interested, please jump on there. 
uh, it will include a couple screws because I want you to convert your boxes. If you're going to make it into a, <laughs> a rack, it needs to survive. All right. So you will need to pre-drill a hole, uh, find the right size. I'll put this in the instructions. I just don't have it at the top of my head. And then put the screws in. You may want to repaint that little section there so that uh, it lasts longer in terms of looks. And then also you notice they're notched. We have them notched and I have them not notched. Uh, the ones that are notched will fit over the existing scurvy dog musket, musket shots that have the pegs already in them. Some of you have them without and I, and you can, you're welcome to get that. Um, what, what I'll ask you to do is just place your order. I'll send you an email thanking you for your purchase. That's me. That's not a computer or a bot. I'm actually saying, Hey, thank you. You know, let me know if you need anything at that time. Let me know which kind you want. Do you want the kind with a notch? You want the kind without the notch and we'll go from there. Uh, the last thing I did meet up with Jason, uh, from, Sa uh, excuse me, from Las Vegas. Awesome. He and his wife were so great. They were, they were a lot of fun. I'm, I'm sure I bugged them. <laughs> a lot, but he really provided a lot of input and knowledge um, to me because, you know, I just thought that these things would fit on every single scurvy dog and musket shot. Well, that's not necessarily true because there's sometimes uh, some changes in the size of, of the wood and some, some of them are, anyway, it's just like with anything that you make from scratch, sometimes there's some little inconsistency. So what was happening is that the topper wouldn't go down into it and then we had difficulties actually getting the tubes uh to fit in the box so it looks like the box was just a little bit small it is possible that that happens to you and so what i will do is i will make sure that this middle piece is thin enough that we can actually fit it in into your box it doesn't matter if there's any give because it's, once it's in there it, it is rock solid okay uh, <laughs> but i'll make sure we do that and then secondly um, the tubes, if you have an issue where the tubes are a little snug, uh, I always recommend you take the tubes, put them in first. And these are DR 11s, uh, I, like 1.91, uh, on internal measurement there, but basically I think a two inch tube, uh, you will put the tubes in first, then slide the frame over. And I'm not going to really do this very well one handed, but this one actually fits very well. There's tons of room on this one, but I've noticed there are other ones that are kind of tight. So if the tubes are tight and you're not able to get them to just push them in this way, because that may happen, sometimes the tubes are oval. You know, even these, uh, they're awesome, Pyro Direct, but uh, sometimes it was hard to get it in. So you can either move the tubes a little bit so they, they fit, uh, or you can put it over the top. All right, there may be a rare case, but it may happen where it doesn't fit. Uh, you will contact me and we'll figure out what to do from there, okay? Um, I do know that the fiberglass tubes seem to be thinner, and they are <laughs> on the outside. So I think you'll fit fiberglass tubes no problem in this thing. It'll actually make it uh, a little bit lighter, and and uh, it's still stable. Like I said, uh, I know master shells and some other shells that are that are uh, some pretty powerful shells have been tested in this. I tested windmill shells and uh, let's see, echo and ear and some raccoon shells. So all, all did great. And you could check out my video for some of those. All right, thanks for sitting through this long video. I appreciate <laughs> all of your help and support. And I'm glad that there's another product uh, that we can offer for you. Again, these do not come with the tubes. <laughs> so you will have to order those on your own or use some of the spares that you have. But I just want to give you another use for your scurvy dog and your musket shot. And again, appreciate all of your business and all your friendships and, uh, you know, being safer and just more aware of uh, what we do with fireworks and trying to just create a lot of fun. All right. Have a great one. Thank you.